And welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for Thursday the 8th of December. Mike Smith here at Alistair Go Markets here to take you around what's happening in markets today. Let's look across the news wires, find out what's coming across. And of course, overnight we saw another soft but mixed session on Wall Street to see the fifth straight day of losses on the S&P 500. Uh, the Dow managed to scrape its way back to neutral. As investors seem to have a value rather than a growth focus, we saw some of those value stocks in the Dow outperforming tech, for example. It's re really recession fears that are dominating sentiment at the moment and possibly half an eye on, on what's happening next week with uh, the latest US inflation print and the Fed's interest rate decision due on Tuesday and Wednesday, respectively. US futures are slightly lower in Asian action and Asian indices are following that soft US lead. ASX is down around 0.7%. Again, with defensive stocks outperforming, there's only two of the 11 sectors up at this stage. European equity futures are also suggesting a, a lower open later. Uh, so no apparent end to this at all at this stage. Somewhat surprisingly, the US dollar index was lower again despite that equity weakness. Moving back down towards those five-month lows we hit earlier in the week. It was near neutral in Asia earlier in the session, but we do see it climbing slightly over the last hour or so as we're recording this. Uh, gold is neutral despite that US dollar strength we're seeing today. Still well over that 200 EMA. Oil has dropped further through year-to-date lows yesterday and heads towards the next support. At around about $75 a barrel on the Brent CFD crew contract. Copper is higher yesterday and moved back over that 200 MAs, nearing a Keith level, which will be interesting to keep an eye on. And VIX has also edged higher. Bitcoin hasn't done much again, really trading around that 17,000 short term resistance. Just looks a little weaker, slightly over the last couple of sessions, uh, may well start to sell off. There doesn't appear to be any buying pressure there at all. On the data front, we've saw Japanese GDP bid ex expectations this morning. Uh, later on, we've got US weekly jobs and the ECB president, Christine Lagarde, speaking. Uh, those are the highlights in an otherwise quiet day. It really is a focus on uh, the technical today, I would suggest, until that weekly jobs number comes out tonight. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. We'll start with the US Australian dollar. You can see we've got the 200 MA to the top side is resistance and now we're nearing support. We did have a positive day yesterday, but it looks as though coming back down to around about this 66.75 mark. That could be critical. If we look at an hourly chart, you can see the importance of that. We're just going to pull that down a little bit to 66.70. So over the course of the day, if we see this drop another sort of 30 to 40 pips, it could precipitate some more selling if we breach that. On the upside, it's a little too noisy really going on here. If we breach this level here, we're going to get stuck maybe 10 15 pips ahead and then another 10 15 pips so really in the fx market there's not a lot of movement of note in terms of new trends forming but that could all change when this afternoon comes so keep an eye on the us dollar crosses and the euro crosses in particular on the asx we are looking at a choice mines they had a positive result from one of their drills and you can see that's pushed the price up to 630 really performed well anyway on the back of that increase in gold price over the last month but this key level around about 628 looks very important in the medium term we've potentially got to move up to around about 736 uh, so that's certainly one to keep an eye on in terms of where it closes towards the back end of the day trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now